okay guys welcome back to my channel i usually don't talk in videos but i made a tutorial with a talk through this is a talk through video and um it's pretty much a video on how to highlight and contour so pretty much this is the finished look this is the look that i did and um if you stay tuned you will see everything that i put in this video on how to highlight and contour okay so this is going to be an in-depth on how to highlight and contour Okay, so step one, what you gotta do is prime your face with a primer. So step one, all you gotta do is prime your face with a primer. I'm using Smashbox Photo Finish. This formula is oil free because I have oily skin and oil and oil don't mix together. So you're gonna take some, you're gonna apply it on your face. I did my eye makeup off camera because that's not the focus of this video. So the next step, you either want to use the foundation or you just want to skip to the highlight and the contouring part. But I'm going to use um, foundation, being that my skin tone is uneven. So I'm using Max Match Master Foundation in the color 7.5. And I'm going to take some drops, put it on the back of my hand. Take the foundation and apply it all over. So then, to blend out my foundation, I'm going to take a kabuki brush. I got this off of eBay. This is terrible because the follicles or whatever is coming out of it. Then I'm going to take Max Fix the Plus and I'm going to spray that with this just to wet it. And then I'm going to damp it out, buff it into the skin. The key to highlighting and contouring is highlighting, you want to bring features on your face out. Contouring, you want to hide them. So features on your face that you might want to bring out, say like your underneath your eyes or your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, your chin, your jawline. Stuff you want to hide is where you would typically see shadows, which is like right here, your jawline, down the bridge of your nose to make your nose look smaller, around your forehead, the perimeter. Um, and for highlighting, you want to use two shades lighter than your skin tone. And I am going to use my Tarte Creaseless Concealer or my NARS. This is my favorite one, so I'm trying to get every last drop out of it. Um, yeah, so I definitely need to get a new one, but I'm going to use every single last drop because this is $40. Yes, for this. So I'm going to use this until I can't use it no more. So I'm just gonna highlight underneath my eyes. To blend out my highlight, I'm going to use this Real Techniques brush, it's the um, face brush, and I'm just going to spray that with a little bit of Fix Plus, and I am going to spray that, and then I'm going to blend out my highlight. I'm going to dab it into the skin so that way it won't move. And I'm going to bring this all the way over here. Make sure you take your time with this because this is like the most important part because if you go out there unblended, you're going to be looking like an unblended fucking Excuse my language. So 
contour. I like to highlight first and then contour, but sometimes I do together, but I want to make sure I got the highlight where I want it. So, highlight first. And the, the, um, a good thing about highlighting and contouring is like if you have a big forehead, you can shorten it. But if you have like a small forehead, you can enlarge it. So if you have a big forehead, you can bring the contour line down very, very low. If you have um, a smaller forehead but you want it to like stand out, then you can bring the highlight a little bit higher than usual. So that's a good thing about highlighting and contouring. Now for contouring, I'm going to use this, it's Max Concealer, it's the darker shade, um, it's in the color NW50 I believe, yeah, it's in the color NW50, um, oh also, LA Girl got awesome banging concealers, this is also good, but I like this one because it's like very very dark and I like my contour to be <laughs> extravagant. <laughs> so. I'm gonna take this new flat contour brush that I got from Walgreens. It's a Disney theme, and I'm just gonna use that to contour. So I'm gonna contour my jawline. Make a fishy face to find your dream. The top of my forehead. the side of my jaw underneath my jawline and down the bridge of my nose because I got a fat nose so I just want to look up a little bit skinnier Now, before the concealer creases, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier to set that concealer so it won't crease and I'm going to let it bake on my face. This um, stipple brush is from e.l.f. It's like $3 and I'm just going to bring that out even more because you can't be looking crazy. And I'm just gonna go back with the same brush that I used to blend out the highlighted areas and I'm just gonna like buff that into the skin as well. Now to blend out the contour for my nose, I'm going to use this angled um, contour brush by e.l.f. And I'm just going to like blend it out by brushing this over. Oh, you don't want any brush on your nose. Now 
gonna be using MAC blush, it's called Stubborn, and this is how it looks, and this is the blush brush I'm gonna be using, it's by um, BH Cosmetics, and I'm, I don't like a lot of blush because I just don't. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit into the powder, and I'm just gonna like sweep it onto the apples of my cheek, and then I find them, smile. I got this in Macy's by Cargo. I'm not too sure who that is, but yeah, this is how it looks. And I'm gonna spray this fan brush, my e.l.f. with some fix -up. Dip it into the highlight. This is my favorite part. Rub it all in there. Rub it all in there. And just brush it on the highest points of your cheekbones to give you that glow. Um, match. The snatch, honey. Here's my brush. I just actually snatched. I'm gonna be using Max Stubborn Blush Brush. Blah. What the? Now for some highlight, highlight, highlight. Um, glow. No glow. Glow. Cause who's telling me anything? Nothing. Nobody. Chicken